Hey Internet, it's me, Dez, coming at you from the basement, and I wanted to talk to you on the, this Tuesday about some tool tips and what you might want to get to get started in hobbying. Um, my first recommendation is a good pair of clippers. Uh, these were $20 on my local hobby shop. They're a little more expensive than what you might want to initially invest in. You could get away with a $5 pair from Michaels with a 40% off coupon and just fine. Uh, after using those old clippers for years, I am fixing lots of scarring on the models. I realized that I could be using a better tool. I invested a little money and they seem to work great. Um, we could start with anything. The second thing that you'll need, and these are all items I, I my essentials that I use if I'm on the road or, or going anywhere. Uh, another item is your X-Acto knife. I've had this since I can remember, probably high school, which is a long time ago. Um, you always want to make sure you're using a nice sharp blade. You have a nice point on it. Uh, you want to use a dull blade because you can cut yourself, and that is not fun. Um, for replacement blades, I just use the number 11s all the time. Um, you can get them anywhere. You can get them Michael's with a 40% off coupon, Hobby Lobby with a 40% off coupon, or you can just order a replacement uh, batch of like 100 blades off of Amazon for, for next to nothing. That's 10 bucks or so. Uh, that's the way I would go, and that's the way I have gone. Uh, what I wouldn't do, if you ever see Ravel blades, stay away from those. I, I thought they were cool. It comes with a little plastic dispenser and you can put the old blades into it afterwards and it's kind of neat but they shattered on me every time I used them if I was cutting stuff they just shatter on me and uh, I feel like your fingertips you won't want to use those. Uh, as far as glue goes I can settle on just using this stuff here. Crazy glue with a brush on applicator. I uh, You can find this anywhere it's, it's about three bucks for a bottle works on anything. Um, and I've used tons of different super glues. This is the one that I found to be uh, not only cheap, just seemed to be the best kind to use. Uh, one other essential that I bring with me for modeling, I highly recommend some plastic plastic weld. This is great for doing conversions or working primarily primarily with plastic because you can glue your model together. It'll stick, but it'll still so you can maneuver things a little bit. So it's really great if you're doing a lot of conversions or working with mainly plastic models. Um, and one other item. A lot of people ask about brushes. What's the best? Games Workshop? Should I go to a craft store? Should I use Army Painter? And I've done all of those. I've used a myriad of different brushes. But I wish that I had just spent $15.00 on eBay or on Amazon and just got a Windsor Newton Series 7 size 0 to start with painting. It's been, I've had it for, for years now. Um, the other brushes that I mentioned, I would go through, through them within a week or two weeks depending on where they were from. Uh, even taking care of them. And I beat on this brush and it's lasted me for a long, long time. Um, so, yeah, you can spend $5 on a brush, but if you're buying a new brush every week or two, by the end of the month, you might as well have invested into a Windsor Newton Series 7. And then you can buy a different brush uh, sizes, but Series 7, uh, 7 size 0 seems to be a great way to go. One other thing that is primer. A lot of people swear by GW, a lot of people swear by Krylon, and that's fine. Everybody has different experiences. I, I go to Home Depot and I buy the black matte flat primer for a dollar and it works great. It works better than, you know, the $15 cans of whatever else you can get. Um, as long as you're doing it in the right conditions, you don't want to prime when it's too humid out. So those are my basics. Those are the things that I take with me everywhere and I can't do without my essentials. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.